It is rare when great photography and great writing come together with singular focus to form a powerful work of art. But that is what we get in West Coast, Bearing to Baja, a book of breathtaking images by noted photographer David Frazee, with text written by the best-selling author Simon Winchester. The remarkable result is a photographic journey that documents the beauty of the West Coast of North America in a way never before accomplished, and serves as a stark reminder of its unique history, power, and the fragile environmental balance that must be preserved for future generations. The 5,000-mile journey starts with the Aleutian Islands in the Bering Sea and heads south all the way to the tip of the Baja Peninsula in Mexico. It is an ever-evolving place of magnificent scenery where earthquakes await and volcanoes erupt. It is, quite literally, where the action is. In June 2012, David and Simon met in Central Park to discuss West Coast, Bering to Baja. So Simon, we're here in beautiful Central Park and we're standing on a rock called Umpire Rock. And I guess the question a lot of people are gonna say or ask is, well, how are we gonna tie in this rock here in the middle of Manhattan to what's going on in the West Coast? In the meta scale, this was all part of the West Coast because this all belonged hundreds of millions of years ago to this supercontinent called Pangaea. The Earth, although it looks solid, is not solid at all. In fact, the Earth is plastic. It's very mobile and with enough heat, with enough time and enough pressure, it can move and can cause extremely dangerous occurrences which throw up extraordinarily beautiful things like the mountains you've been photographing from Bering to Baja. So the same glaciation you see in British Columbia and in Alaska and in the Aleutian Islands are the same phenomena you see here in Central Park. So the connection is, is obvious and very intimate. Well, David, let me turn the tables on you a little sure. and ask, how did you get involved in this project? I mean, you live in Philadelphia. Correct. You teach photography. So it's how did an East Coast boy end up photographing the West yeah. Coast? I think if I go to the most basic motivation is, which I share with, I think, almost every human being on the planet, is we're attracted to water. And of course, the largest of all, the ocean. But beyond that, as a photographer, what happens on the coast is, first of all, it's a place of multiple transitions. It's the meeting place of land, sky and sea, and then you throw in transitory effects of weather, constantly changing. Everything is in motion. I like to say it's where the action is, and for a photographer, it couldn't be better. Here's the action. Here's the action, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I love the whole notion, I don't think it's done enough, of getting great writing to go with photography. And I should add that Naomi Rosenblum is, has written a wonderful foreword that places the photography into the context of the history of landscape photography. This is my hope for this book as well, that your extraordinary photographs and a text which I hope brings the power of geology home to the, you know, the ordinary living room, all of that together will produce a package, I believe, which will be fascinating beyond the geological community, beyond the photographic community, to the intelligent lay reader, if I can put it like that. We have the art of photography and the art of writing at very high level, and I hope they make a statement to people about the power and majesty of this planet. I think that one of the things that human beings can be is we, we tend to be arrogant, is, is the way we treat the planet, and we're starting to pay the price. And when people say that the planet is fragile, I kind of say, well, no, no, the, the planet's not fragile at all. It's the life on the planet that's fragile. These tectonic plates are gonna keep moving. No matter what we do, they're gonna keep moving for billions of years. And what we have to ask ourselves is, how long do we want to go along for the ride? I hope that these photographs at least make people aware of what a special place we are on. Humankind lives on this planet subject to geological consent, which can be withdrawn at any time. Beautiful scenery, is usually created by very dangerous geological forces. Where you've got beauty, you've got danger. <laughs>